What is up there, beautiful people? And welcome to another edition of Just Trending News. So today we're still speaking everything that's related to actress Tuli Pongolo and the assault case against Udj Maporisa. So if you remember yesterday, I reported on this matter and stated that Udj Maporisa was allegedly in police custody after he slapped and dragged Tuli Pongolo by the neck on the balcony of her apartment. Okay, so obviously she opened a case against him and he was then detained by the police and taken to uh, the Santon police station, after which, you know, I believe it was yesterday he applied for bail right and there's lots of there's been lots of videos that have been flooding all over the internet of DJ Maporisa actually um you know at the magistrate's court I'm assuming at his bail hearing so imagine the shock I received when I see yesterday that Utuli Pongolo actually withdrew the case that she opened against DJ Maporisa okay and I'm going to be quoting from an article from News 24 because I just want to make sure that I've got all of my facts straight it says actress and DJ Tulisi de Pongolo has withdrawn the domestic violence case she opened on Sunday night against her popular boyfriend Temba Sigoe, known as DJ Maporisa. This was revealed on Monday at the Randberg Magistrates Court when Uma Porisa appeared in court. However, despite the former generations of the legacy actress withdrawing her initial statement in which she detailed how the Izola hitmaker assaulted her, the case was heard and the Amapiano producer was granted 4,000 rand bail and told that his bail conditions would remain effective until the charges against him were formally withdrawn. So Pongolo opened the case on Sunday night, as we all know, at the Santon police station, where she was told, uh, where she told police uh, that Maporisa assaulted her following an argument they had on Saturday at a gig, where he became aggressive and slapped her in the face. Okay. So Pongolo also added that the DJ aggressively dragged her by the neck to the balcony and kept hitting her uh, with his album while they were fighting for her phone which he had taken from her so in her statement Upongoro said she sustained bruises on her neck chest arms and also on her right cheek well there you have it ladies and gentlemen it would seem as though the case against DJ Maporisa has been withdrawn by Utuli Pongola allegedly or according to this article from News 24 um honestly I'm just you know I'm not even shocked you know when I release my initial video you know, uh, yesterday, which was detailing the assault that happened and the allegations that were happening against uh, DJ Maporisa by Utuli Pongolo, a lot of people actually commented to say that she would withdraw the case, and she did exactly that. And it's it's honestly sickening, you know, because now we don't know what to believe. Did he or did he not assault you? You know, because it's very, very, um, you know, I, I would say it's very stupid. It would be very stupid of us to blindly follow and believe her because she's a woman. But obviously, we had faith in the fact that there was a formal case that was open and that a formal investigation and a, um, you know, conviction would or would not be granted by the criminal justice system. So now we're just like sitting here twiddling our thumbs, wondering why she would withdraw her statement, or why she would withdraw the case. And this is honestly what happens in South Africa, which is not surprising. You know, I'm not saying it's right, but it's not surprising why some police stations do not take domestic violence cases because most of the time in most of these cases, women always withdraw their statements or their cases. But tell me what you think about this in the comment section, my darlings, and I'll see you in my next upload.